going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the studio we're doing something a little bit simple today we're doing some summer is almost around the corner it's coming so I want to give you a little bit of vibrant dish uh, solid something that you can pair with a lot of different proteins and you know keep that healthy summer my fit body and all that good stuff going on for the summertime um, we got mangoes today we got clementines we got some maple syrup we got some pecan we got some kale that we're gonna use today so basically we're gonna have a kale and fruit salad um, with a little bit of sweet and uh, citrus uh, vinaigrette going on all right so I'm gonna take you through the the prep process and then we'll get back to just putting some stuff together because I have some some protein I got I'm gonna put with it but I'm not gonna show you that in this recipe I'm just gonna put it on the side but let's get into it and we'll see what we got I'm just gonna peel away the skin from your mango I'm gonna just uh, not dice but we're just gonna chop it on the diagonal afterwards after we peel it Trying to stay as close to the sides as humanly possible. Okay, you kind of just want to peel the skin off. I mean, if you have a peeler, it should work as well, but it's not necessary. Just write down the size. Try your best not to hit the seed, but you're definitely trying to get as much as that flesh off the seed and you can oh my gosh yeah sorry about the noise in the background I live in the heart of the city so there's a lot of outdoor commotion going on I do not have my own studio but this is my studio <laughs> and now you have your mango Take off any, any little bit of bits of the skin on it. <clears throat> That's what you want. I'm just gonna cut it in segments and then cut it on a bias diagonally for some of y'all don't know what the bias means. For these small pieces, just on the bias, don't need to cut them a little more. You don't want them to be too small because you don't want them to get lost in the dish itself. You want to be able to see it. You want it to come out and be vibrant in the dish. But yeah. And if you don't like this recipe, I don't know what's wrong with you because who does not like mangoes? Come on now. Mangoes make the world go round. So you want to do that, you want to put that in your bowl where you're going to mix your salad in later. I got my bowl right beside me. You probably can't see it on camera right now, but I'll show you. It's right there. Oh yeah, did I say we have lemons, lemons as well? Next up is our clementine. Don't need a knife for that, you can just really peel it apart. Sometimes you just got to love the citrusness coming off these fruits. Especially the clementines, so good, so fresh, so nice. I mean, yeah. As I said, we're just keeping it simple today, real simple, nothing heavy. We we're rec um, requested to make something light for dinner, so that's what we're doing today. Something nice and light. Some, some that you won't have to, you know regret skipping the gym over hopefully when it's all said and done you guys enjoy this and you guys you know might like it try to attempt it at home make it for the friends make it for the family because you know that's what we're here for make you guys cooking day a little bit easier and a little bit better Plus, we enjoy just coming and cooking and chilling and kicking it with you guys, so it's all love. Let's get rid of all this mess right here. 
oh you know it's good um aroma around the house as well squeeze it and let that fragrance just like fill up your house it's so good you know most people will go through right now if we're in a really professional settings we'll go through and remove all try to move as much veins out of these as we possibly could but it's not that type of party so we're just gonna take away the segments so you guys can see that plus to give the kid uh, give the salad a little bit of character you know a little bit of ruggedness that's what we're going for just like that just remove the segments and don't be afraid to eat one in the process there's so many dogs in my neighborhood right now I can hear so many dogs barking outside I'm right, just gonna take those and add those to our bowl as well finish the rest I mean if you truly want these inside parts these stringy inside parts you can remove those as well because those will definitely I mean, it's not gonna affect your taste that much you just like some people don't like certain textures in their mouth <laughs> but you know what I mean for me oof, I broke that one but it's okay and that's it for that look at that you got your colors coming together can you imagine when you mix in a little the green you got the orange you got the yellow you got some pecan for added benefit like you want to toast your pecan you know if you like you don't have to do it but you can toast your pecan to a nice golden brown you can drizzle a little bit of um, maple syrup on it or a little bit of honey on it that's completely up to you and your preferences all right we got our kale here as you see it's a big bunch we probably won't need it all let's say maybe half of it half or so i mean we could use it all but a little bit more than half make sure you kill if you're buying it at a grocery store or anything like that you just know that the leaves is gonna have uh, sometime the inside leaves can have a lot of dirt so what you want to do is as you can see there for mine right there in the center you can see all that dirt so make sure you give it a nice wash before you add it to your salad or you break it down to add to your salad so now that we wash our kale show you what that looks like you see there hopefully you can see it on the camera but yeah now what you want to do is see these little parts you just want to pick them off you want to break it down to a little bite size and that's all you want to do now you're going to add that into your salad I mean another way of doing this if you truly don't want to stand here be picking kale all day you can take your knife come to the back like this and cut all the way up the spine right here because you don't want to eat the spine it can get chewy can get hard as you don't like that texture and as I said before you don't want that texture in your mouth all right so you could do that and then you could just chop it into small pieces just like that if that makes your life a little bit easier but we here at the studio I would like to break it down plus so there's sometimes like when you get stuff like this and you use your knife on delicate flowers and things like this like for basil for instance you don't want to use too much of your knife on it or you want to make your you make sure your knife is pretty sharp when you chop um, delicate herbs like those because all you're doing it is gonna do is bruise it and that that um, pretty much accelerate the process of it turning brown on you so I'm just gonna break these down for you now I'm looking at it I don't even think I need all this kale but Let's get through it and see what we got. 
Alright, um, I'm pretty much gonna speed ramp through the rest of this so you guys are not make you guys bored out of your mind watching this beautiful salad. Uh, I want you guys to get to the end so you guys can see this process because I feel like this, this is one of those salads you're just gonna, you know, when it's very, very hot outside, it's gonna make up the salad, have a nice little be beverage, and you know, relax on your balcony or in the park or something and just, you know, munch away because it's healthy, it's clean, it's vibrant, and nobody gets hurt by nobody. I'm talking about your health. I'm talking about your weight. I'm talking about your waistline. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As you can see our salad is nice and picked. It's gonna give that a little toss for you. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Make sure you wash your hands after every project you do. This just I'm gonna get rid of all the germs and bacteria, you know. But yeah. Give this a nice toss so you guys can see the colors come together. Just like that. You got the clementine, you got the mango. We're gonna add the pecan at the very end so it can stay crunchy on us when we add our vinaigrette. Alright? And please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so so far. It really helps out the channel a lot. We appreciate every subscriber we get. Because we, we're a small channel, we're constantly growing, we're constantly trying new things and different things. Um, become a premium subscriber as well if you want to support us in a different way. And you can also, by being a member, you can um, suggest what you like to, like to see us cook on this channel. And we're very versed in a lot of recipes on this channel. So we are surrounded by a lot of talented um, chefs that's been in the industry for multiple years so anything that you see that you like us to cook on the channel please do not hesitate to ask right but you have to be a premium member for us to um, cook your recipe on the channel so yeah definitely try it out let us know and hit us up in the comments we're always active in the comments we're always talking to our members so let us know um, that being said we're gonna take our salad away and we're gonna get the dressing going. I'm gonna take you into that and get the rest of this process going. Come with me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get our vinaigrette started. You need a bowl, you need a whisk or a fork, whichever floats your bowl. Um, for the vinaigrette, all we're gonna need is some maple syrup. I got some nice 100% pure Canadian maple syrup apparently so we're gonna use that we got a lemon we're gonna need a little bit of the zest from the lemon so we're gonna go we're gonna try to find the smallest part on our grater if that's all you have at home if you're a microplane you're gonna have um, basically smaller holes that you don't have to worry about it now you want to grate this very lightly because you don't want to get down to the white parts of the of the lemon because I will give you a nice uh, a different uh, texture that you'd want in, on your palate. I'm not going to say in your mouth, I'm going to say on your palate. So <laughs> just lightly zest some of that skin off that we're going to use in our vinaigrette. Now just keep turning as you're grating just a little by little until Ooh, that citrusness is right up in my nose. Now, can you imagine making this in your house? If you have a big house, um, probably won't affect it as much. If you have a smaller apartment, in a sense, let's get all that stuff out there. A small apartment, in a sense, the clement from the clementine down to this lemon is going to add so much aroma. To your place right now as you're making it and it will definitely attract a little flies as well i just saw one fly past my face but the fruit flies so you want to take that add it to your bowl you got your lemon zest and then you take the same lemon you want to roll it out a little bit by doing so you're loosening some of the juices on the inside of your lemon before you cut it 
and it makes it easier to when you do cut into it, it makes it easier to squeeze that juice out because you don't you're not working with a hard lemon so we're just gonna cut into it as you can see this one has no juice so I mean no seeds you just want to squeeze that into your your bowl you're gonna add your maple syrup just a little bit of maple syrup a little bit of salt and pepper just want it nice and balanced all right ladies and gentlemen we are back so we are going to add our dressing to the salad get that nice and mixed and tossed around and once that's all done I am going to get into our plating portion of this video so I'm going to take this time to be tell you guys um, appreciate you guys stopping by watching the video uh, and supporting uh, hopefully you guys get to try this one out. It's very fresh, light, summery, flavorful, and you can pair it with almost anything you like. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right here in this next part. And hopefully you like it. Leave uh, your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think and let me know what you'll change about it. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Peace.